Hi, I'm Joey Bakowitz, and I'm going to introduce you to the investors, and we're going to show you how to pick a contractor. Come on in. Hey, Bob, you here? Hey, Joey, how you hey. doing? Good to see you. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, this is Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is Chip. Hey, Chip. It's always a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. So welcome to our project. Yeah. We've been, uh, we just bought this house. We just closed on it. What'd you pay for this place? 191500 five. That's right. In downtown Barrington? Downtown Barrington. And uh, so we got it. We knew we had a great deal on the property. Okay. Because there's comps in the area that are 700000 750 right? Okay. So in order to get this property... Worth seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Now we've got to figure out what we're going to do construction wise. All right, super. All right. What super. year was this thing built? In the sixties. Okay. So. Okay. Built in the sixties, uh, kind of outdated. It looks like that they've up model, they've updated it a few times. Right. Um, they 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 really like the outdoors. Okay. So they put they put two screened in porches. Okay. On this property. All right. All right, and so they actually removed the front door. All right. It's really interesting if you look at the plans. Yeah, there. yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. All, right. All right. So what they did was, uh, this was a screened-in porch. And now the architect that we that we um, had give us some sample drawings here. They've moved the front door to the front. We're not sure if we like this or not. We thought maybe we could put the front door over here. Okay. Right. Uh, we also there's a beautiful backyard that's all tree lined with okay. trees. Okay. All right. And I, I think if we put some windows in the back and maybe put the kitchen back there to really bring that outside in. Cool. And then the other thing is is um, adding a second story. All right. Okay. So and that's what up here. And so if we add a second story, I think we can get three bedrooms. So nice there, there's no upper level right now. There's no you upper level right now. Taking a roof up, putting another. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, you know what? I got two contractors coming today. You do? I got two. Okay. Hey, Joe's here. Joe's here. Oh, cool. Hey, Joe, come on in. Hey, Joe. Hi, Hi guys. Hi, Joe. How are you doing? Good to see you. Why am I here? Uh, listen, I want to introduce you to, to Bob. Bob. Hey, Joe. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet okay. you. Welcome. And uh, these are his two investors. This is Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Chip, good to Pleasure meet you. Pleasure to meet you. And uh, they bought this house. They just closed on this house over here. Uh, you know, this is Barrington, downtown Barrington over here. And they've got a little schematic that was drawn over here. And um, they asked me if I knew any contractors. And I said, you know, I, got, I knew you. And what we wanted to do is uh, have you meet and discuss what the possibilities of the house are. Okay. Right. Fair enough. So first question would be, uh, what are your, what's your plan? Fix and flip? Are you going to live here? Well, here's the deal. You know... The reason that we bought this particular house was, first of all, the location is excellent. Uh, it's in a great school district, and, but it's, it's, it's an older street, so this particular house was built in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And so this house, if you look up and down the street, some houses have been torn down and brand new ones built. Others have been remodeled and rehabbed. Okay. Right? And so we looked at the comps in the area, or the other comparable sales. We found properties that have sold for 700000 We found properties that have sold for 400000 Four doors down, there's a property that is well over a million dollars. So, we we are now needing to figure out what to do. Okay. All right. So, I mean, obviously, we invested in this property. Our intention is to fix and flip it. Okay. So when we bought it, we, we paid a good price for it. Uh, we need to figure out what our budget's going to be for construction, and make sure that we that the investors make money on the deal because that's why we bought the property in the first place. Okay. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of different things that we could do. This house is a little weird. Uh, whoever lived here before, they love the outdoors. They put two two screened in uh, porches with windows. Okay. They they removed the front door of the house, so the house doesn't have a front door anymore. We're standing in a kitchen that has no windows really, except one. You can't really see outside. In the back of the property, it's all trees, so it's beautiful, but you can't see them because there's no windows. Right. And so what we thought. You know, my first gut was to kind of clear the first uh, floor out, take down some of the walls, open the space up. I think that bringing that back outside in to the home with windows, maybe even moving the kitchen back there, 
uh, would be a really nice addition. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing we thought was putting a second story on the property. So we could actually add three bedrooms and a bathroom up there, maybe even a bonus room. Okay. And which would then get the square footage of the house, because right now we're at about 1,700 square feet. So if I could add 1,000 square feet to the property, that would get us at about 2,700 square feet. Mm -hmm. And that would then get us in the range of being worth about $700,000, which, which is what our goal is. Okay. Okay. Uh, I notice it's a single story right now. Sure. Um, I'm not sure how big the footprint is. I haven't really walked around, um, but there's across the street two stories. Uh, you know, looks like there was additions of, you know, second floors and of course there's some new construction as well. Uh, I guess the biggest question is how much time do you have? When are you? Is, are your investors willing to wait for construction, or do they want to get in and out? Well, it depends, right? If we, right now, it's uh, it's it's obviously winter out, right? Mm -hmm. So our goal would be to get this property completely finished and be on the spring market or at the end of spring because we want the, we want the homeowner to be able to buy it and move into it before school starts, okay. all right? So that would be our ambition. I know it would be ambitious for this property to get, to get that done. If we're going to do a full-blown second story, you know, so we'll, we'll have to talk about that. And then there's also a couple other options, right? Maybe we can just move the kitchen. Maybe you'll only take out a few walls. Maybe we have a smaller budget for the deal, but we're still able to get enough profit out, out of it to make it worth our time. So these are some of the decisions that we need to make after we decide to buy a property. What happens if it goes beyond school, school move-in date or beyond a targeted date? I mean, a second story on this house is pretty aggressive to have done by June or July. Um, and that's going to be the analysis that we do. So Bob, I, I don't know if we can deliver the project by end of July. Um, it's just too aggressive to put a second story on the house. Okay, got it. There's a saying, never judge a book by its cover, except in real estate. There's nothing more important than the entranceway. The curb appeal when you're walking in, when you're just entering the house, is extremely important, especially in a suburb like Barrington, Illinois. This is very important and this is something that the contractor and the owner really have to get a meeting of minds on because it sets the tone and the quality for the rest of the house. Where do, where do we start now? What do we do? Well, what I think we should do is just kind of walk through the house so that we can make a decision about what type of construction that we're going to do. All right, We need to make sure that we make money for the investors. That's why we're here. Okay. And so... We're going to come up with a few different scenarios of what we could do to the house. A low end, right, low budget deal or a construction project, a middle range, and then, you know, full blown. And if I can go with those three different possibilities, that's going to allow me to make a decision about what to do. Okay. All right, so why don't we start at the front? Okay. okay. First of all, uh, as I approached the house, there was really no front door. Um, there's the screen porch on the side with a couple sliding doors, but this is Barrington. Um, and in Barrington, they're going to want to have an, a, a, a pleasurable approach to the house. So we're going to need to get a nice front door, and I think the best place to put it is right here in the kitchen. The kitchen's got to be remodeled anyways. I think that from, from what I've seen so far, it probably should go to the back of the house. And this could be your front entrance foyer. If you decide to go upstairs, this is where your staircase would be as well. So as you come in the front door, you have a covered porch, a nice entryway, a couple closets on the side, and then a stairway to go on upstairs. Okay, I like the sound of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we can walk around the rest of the house and you can tell me what you like or dislike about it, but I think image, the first first step in a door is really important, especially in this community. Okay. All right, All right let's do that. There's a conflict going on over here and it's called the kitchen. The existing kitchen is not big enough, it does not work, it's, it's just old. So when you're renovating a house, in order to sell it in the right amount of time, in order to get the right people for it, you got to have the right kitchen. This is a big issue for here. Where do we put it? Do we put it in the back? Too small. Do we, go, do we extend outside? Do we go further out? Do we, do we enlarge the building? What do we do? This is an issue that has to be addressed and has to be very, very, very importantly detailed by the contractor doing what the owner wants. 
All right, Joe, this is the back bedroom of the house. And one of the reasons that I thought about taking these walls out and opening up, because look at this backyard. Right, if you look out this window, it's just full of trees and it's so wow. beautiful. Wow, it's nice. Yeah, and you can't see it. Right, this back of the house is completely, you know, uh, it's shut off. So, I mean, imagine this with all glass, all windows, being able to get that backyard view, right, having the kitchen here. So do you that, have a plan of survey? We do. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know how far out we could go, if possible. Um, I'm thinking this is too small for a kitchen. It's a bedroom. Right. It almost needs to be twice this size. I would agree. So if we went out and, and knew exactly that we weren't going to encroach on the, uh, the setback, uh, I think that's where we could start planning. It's all the, the way back, halfway in the middle of those trees. I mean, it's a substantial amount of square footage of this property. So there should be enough room then to, to add, put a 10-foot 10, 10 addition on or 12-foot addition for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then that, that would open the space up and we could absolutely, you know, really have a beautiful view as you walk in the house and yeah, absolutely. be able to see the backyard. Yeah, I see that. I can envision that. Okay, then also I want to show you the basement because there's a walkout basement here, which okay. is really unique. And, um, you know, see what we can do maybe with the master bedroom and ensuite. On the in the basement or on the first floor? On the first floor. Okay. Okay. Okay, great. That's this way. Perfect. One of the unique aspects of this house is the walkout. It's not a regular basement. It's not closed off and dark. It's very strong. It's, it's very well lit. You walk out to a forest. What do we do with it? Let's find out. All right, Joe. So, so this is our basement here. And uh, you can notice that they finished it. They put a bathroom over here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually a really nice, unique feature that it has a walkout basement. So there's a door that you can actually walk in and out of. That's nice. Which is a really nice feature. Uh, they kind of finished it. They put a bar over here. And uh, they, there's a laundry room back here. So we're not exactly sure what we're going to do yet, but there's a beautiful fireplace also mm -hmm. down here in the basement that is also a unique feature. So we could keep some of it. We could get rid of some of it. Obviously, it needs to be updated. And so we're not quite sure what to do. What do you think? Well, it's great that it has a bathroom already. Um, so you don't have to redo all the plumbing. We could probably use the existing plumbing and a wet bar. Um, we'd have to update it, obviously. Fireplace is a great feature. And the walkout's the best part of the whole thing. Yeah, it really is. Yeah. So. You know, I think that this was considered square footage they used in the area. They probably had a bedroom down here just because the upstairs is so small. Okay. So, and this is what I mean when I say we need to decide about what to do. You know, if I could get away with a hundred grand of construction to get the property worth, you know, $450,000, and I can, we can make a hundred grand on the deal. Right. If I've got to put 300000 into it and then only make a hundred thousand, but then my construction time goes from you know, three months to seven or eight months, right. I've got holding costs, interest costs, those types definitely of things. Definitely a trade-off. Absolutely. Uh, definitely a trade-off. Let's, let's take a look outside. Okay, great. Let's, let's see this. All right, so this is the, uh, the walkout basement here, Joe. So you can see that we got a window. Mm -hmm. They have the laundry room sink, and I know there's a lot of mess in here. You wouldn't believe what I inherit when I buy houses. It's yeah. crazy. We got, yeah. I get tools. I get all kinds of stuff. Wow. But uh, there's a walkout basement here. This is what I think is a great selling feature of the house. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> we got one. Oh, it's got a nice stone patio. I didn't even notice that before. Bonus. In the back there, and you see all those trees. And what an amazing backyard and experience this is, but you can't see it from inside. Great view. Great right? view. And then you've got this crazy thing they built on the back. and Well, this has got to come down, obviously. Uh, kitchen's gonna come over here. All right, so you can see in the back of the house here, they put this uh, thing in the back. You know, like you said, I think we need to take it down. So the decision is gonna be, do we come backwards, right, with an addition, where we could do both the basement and the uh, first floor, or we could go up another story. So we've got a lot of different possibilities here. Yeah, I think coming out is a, is a definite must for the kitchen. Um, it's, we'll have to determine cost-wise, you know, where to, where to end up stopping uh, the foundation. Okay. Because if we, if we build a foundation out here, we want to make sure we still have the walkout potential. Sure. So. Yeah, I really like the walkout basement feature here. So, you know, and like I said, with this backyard, it's, it's beautiful. 
Yeah. I imagine this in the summer and, you know, having uh, the walkout basement with a nice patio with that finish inside there, I think it would be really good. Yeah, there are some nice houses. I don't think you can go wrong here with putting a little extra money into this. Okay. All right, so here we have the, um, the fireplace I was telling you about in the bar. And so this is, you know, really something that they would have, you know, I mean, it, look, it, it needs a little updating, but it's certainly a great feature to have in a finished basement. I know the ceiling feels a little bit low here, and we've got this great bar. Uh, maybe a new countertop, maybe a new face. I think, Bobby, I think we want to take get rid of the whole bar, just re reuse the plumbing, um, and maybe dress up the fireplace with whatever exterior brick we're going to use outside or stone. Okay. Uh, this gas pipe has to go. Um, it's probably feeding a, a log lighter on the first floor, and it's running across the mantle or the uh, the hearth of this fireplace. Oh, God, I didn't see that. So there's some things here that uh, we can address, and uh, not not the end of the world, um, but for a few dollars we can take care of this uh, and make it look like a million bucks. Okay. Yeah, so you can picture this, right? you got the new walk-in. Absolutely. You walk, come down the stairs, you got your fireplace, bar, bathroom, walk-out basement with the view of the backyard. I think it would be real nice. Yeah. yeah I, it's a plus for sure. Walk-out basement and uh, plumbing's already here with the bathroom and this bar uh, and the fireplace. I mean, what more could you ask for? Okay. So what I think we're going to do is, like I said, we're going to come up with three different possible construction scenarios okay. for this property. Right, and then we're going to put a budget on it, and then I'll be able to go back to my investors and say these are the different possible things that we can do, okay. and let's you know make a decision. One more thing, the master suite Got is it. that in the new proposed new second floor, or is that only going to be on the first floor? We thought we would keep that on the first floor. Okay, we put three bedrooms on the second floor plus the bathroom. Keep the master suite with the ensuite bathroom and walk-in closets. Keep that on the first floor. Okay. Right, that would be attractive to uh, an, an older couple that didn't want to walk up and down the stairs. Right. Right, or it could be used as a guest bedroom. Okay. So, Fair you enough. want to go up there and see that? Yeah, let's take a look. Okay, great. There's a very unique room in this house, and what are we going to do with it? I'll tell you what, it's, it could be a very, very big question on what's happening with the foundation. You could really love it, you may have some choices but it could be determined about the foundation. Now let's see. All right, so this is the screen and ports that, that they built on. Obviously it was an add-on, and it's got a couple challenges I want to point out. First of all, it's kind of cool. It's got this really neat ceiling fan here. I don't know if we're going to be able to save it or not. If you notice, it's settled. Mm -hmm. You see this thing over here, yeah. right? So this is obviously sunk down a little bit. I probably would have had hot tub out here or something. It's a really neat room. So I'm not sure if we can save it or not, but I wanted to point out uh, the fact that the floor is now sloped and it looks like it's settled a little bit. Yeah, I think the best uh, the best way to know for sure is to dig out the foundation, see how far down it goes. Okay. Uh, in this area, it needs to be a 42 inch frost below the grade. Okay. So uh, frost wall below the grade. So we could check that out, uh, see where it is. I, I suspect it's probably not, um, just from the settling that we've seen. Uh, but it could have been bad soil too, so All right. only one way to find out. All right, so what would be the scenario if the foundation isn't proper? Would we have to then dig it out and pour proper foundation, or would it be cheaper to just tear the thing off? It might be cheaper to tear it off if you're not going to get any other utility out of it. Okay. For instance, if you're going to go over the second floor, um, perhaps, uh, you know, you, you tear this off, redo the foundation, you know, the house isn't that wide when you look at it, uh, but it does add a nice presence from the street. Okay. So it adds another 12 feet or so to the front of the house. It may look bigger, even though it's not. All right, so this is the, what, what would be considered the front room. You can notice the fireplace here in the, with the front. And so it's a nice big room. And they also built a screened in porch off the side. And then they also built that screened in porch off the front that you'd seen. So we've got, you know, this is where a lot of the square footage of the property is. We're just trying to figure out, because that bedroom, you know, is real small. Yeah. You know, that master bedroom is small. We need a powder room and a master uh, suite, suite on, on suite for the master bedroom. So what do you this, think? This is definitely a challenge. Uh, in, order, in order to get the, 
the most out of the marketplace here, you're going to need a special master suite. The bathroom's got to be to the nines. It's got to be large enough for king size everything. Um, I'm not sure you have the square footage without going out right now. Okay. There's not enough room. Uh, got it. So we'll design that, and we can take a look at the numbers and see which is going to work the best. All right, so these are the three scenarios I want to, I want to consider. Scenario number one, no addition. Okay. Right? What can we do to the house? What would it cost? What would my ARV be? I'm, I'm going to pull comps and look at that. Okay. Scenario number two, we've got a small addition, right, that's reasonable, that we can add some square footage in the back but not go crazy. Maybe only do a small addition off one half. Okay. Scenario number three, right, we figure out what we need to do, but we need to consider the square footage. So if I'm going to do a major addition, I'm going to go up a second story, or I'm going to blow out the entire back of the house to add the square footage, Right, I need this property worth, you know, eight hundred thousand dollars when we're done. So that's the three scenarios that we're going to look at. Okay. Right? Can you work with me on that? I can. Uh, let me let me draw it up, and I'll shoot you over the the renderings. Uh, you can tell me which one you like the best, and I'll price that one first. Okay. And then we'll go from there. All right. I like that. Sounds yeah. good, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping out. Thank you. We met the contractor. We went through basic scenarios throughout the whole house. Biggest question still is, do, do we go up, do we put a second floor up there? With the time, the return on investment, the ultimate sale, one of the most important questions that are out there. This is Joey Backwoods, How to Pick a Contractor. Thank you.